Hello, YouTube. I'm Melissa. I am the middle age redoer. And that's my dogs. Welcome to my channel. Tonight, is, I am launching my very first YouTube video. So be kind. <laughs> I hope you enjoy uh, my thrift with me video. Um, we thought we'd give it a try and I'm the kind of person who will just rip off that band-aid and give it a shot. So um, like I said, I am Melissa, the middle-aged redoer and I'm middle-aged and I like to buy things to rehome, uh, to resell and maybe recreate and try and make some money. So um what you'll see tonight, we're at our local Goodwill and we're checking things out. Um, my husband came with me and I think we were able to find some good treasures. So if you like the content of what you see and you want to maybe learn with me how to thrift and resell things on eBay, um, I sell on a few different platforms that I'm working my way through. Um, I'm selling now on uh, eBay, of course, is my primary. I have a few listings on Poshmark, Mercari, um, Etsy, I'm building another page, and um, Facebook Marketplace has been a lot of fun. So uh, I'm hoping that we can work, learn together and find um, find a way to help kind of keep money coming in and um, keep life in life interesting, right? Because why not? Um, so, uh, keep watching. Uh, I hope you like what we have to offer and keep checking back. Um, like I said, enjoy, uh, like, please. Maybe hit subscribe, please. That would be great. Um, and keep coming back. All right. Be well. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we're in the clear glass aisle and I pick up what I'm wondering, is it fire and light? It certainly looks like recycled glass and I'm looking and I'm looking, trying to find signatures. And I'm looking because now I'm obsessing, maybe more than I really need to be, because enough already. Do I like it? Don't I like it? I don't know. No, I'm gonna put it down because I don't know what it is and we're just getting here so maybe let's not get crazy but oh okay what's down here in the clear in the clear this look bowl looked interesting wonder if, if it was finished glass but uh, i don't know this was cute too i like the the um etched uh leaves on it but i don't know it just didn't speak that loud to me but oh here's a creamer it looked like it was similar etching where they go together? No, no, they weren't meant to go together and not anything I loved enough to put in my cart. And this was a cute vase, but it had a pretty large chip in it. So that stayed on the shelf. Then I spotted this jar, redware pottery, and it was in really good shape, but I don't know. I'm just checking it now to make sure that it didn't have any chips on the lid. And it was a good price. I think, gosh, it was only a buck or two. Or, yeah, two dollars. There you go. You can't beat that. It was. I like the colors on it. So that went in the cart. Why not for two dollars? We'll give that one a try. And they were nothing special. Just some salad bowls. And then I spotted. These, they reminded me of Libby glass, which they probably are Libby. Tell me in the comments below if you know for sure. I have some Pilsner glasses um, that are very similar to these. I think, believe they're sherry glasses. I liked them. The price was right. So I put them in the cart. I'm not sure if I'll put them in my antique booth yet. My mom has a set of those kind of glasses and they're an institution in our house. Um, so we're just looking, nothing exceptional. It's New Year's Day, so things were pretty picked over. I've touched these plates a hundred times when I'm there and they're just, I don't know, nothing that I think is worth taking home. Now, this 
I love this. It reminded me of the churches back in Pennsylvania, um, the, actually the Lutheran church I grew up in. And I don't know, it just, I wasn't sure that there was a resale value on it. So it stayed on the shelves. And this was cute frosted glass, but I don't know, it wasn't anything that struck me as wonderful. So it stayed. And these cute Christmas dishes, I really like them. But I don't know. I'm working out my inventory. Don't know how much space I really have to store until next Christmas. So it stayed. And then I spotted this. It was really, really pretty. I, and I'm trying to figure out what it is. I think a perfume bottle. I think it should have had a top to it um, that I didn't see see so so it stayed who knows quite and cute. so it's quite interesting if you know what it is leave me a comment i i just don't know i just, so it stayed and then i saw this it was etched so pretty and just not too delicate not too heavy um i liked it so I, it went in my cart for for the price a buck you can't go wrong to try it for a buck right I think that'll probably go in the booth as well. I don't know why I didn't touch the pot. I like these frosted little angels, but I, I, they weren't made. There was not a quality to them. And I spotted that teapot back there and it was cute. It would have been half off. The qual I mean there was there was some condition issues, so that stayed. That stayed on the shelf. And what else are we seeing? Oh, that divided crystal dish. That was that's very lovely. Items like that do sell in my booth, so I picked that up. It was in really nice shape, very heavy. Wondering if those were recycled glass as well. I don't know. They didn't look like anything too fabulous, so they stayed. This was lovely, beautiful glass dish in good condition. It was six dollars. You know, we just weren't ready to spend that kind of money, and those plates were really cute. But again, it's Christmas holiday stuff, so it stayed. I, I'm not ready to store that at this point. Looking at the little candlestick back there. And, oh, here's another wine glass, I believe. It's similar to the other Libby glasses that I put, picked up. But there was just one. Where were its friends? Not on the floor, not on the bottom shelf. So let's back up and see if we can find any friends to match that. Because like I said, growing up, that's a staple. So there has to be more, right? We're looking. We're trying to find it. I don't know. Or I'm giving up hope. I'm giving up hope that there are no friends. There are no friends. It's not looking good. And look, there's Mr. He's along tonight to help see what treasures we can find. Let's see, maybe he can help us find the friends for this glass. I don't know. I don't think he's going to have any luck either. Nope. Oh, but what are these? Oh, we found the friends to those. But you know what? I put them in the cart, and I ended up putting them back later because there was a big chip in one of the rims. So... That wasn't going to work. They stayed behind. And I found a fifth one of those little sherry glasses. That was exciting. Not one of the bigger wine goblets, but that's okay. Next time, maybe he'll come around. There's somebody's craft project. I love a good recycle. But that had to stay. So back on the hunt. Mister's also trying to learn 
about uh, glass so he can help me find treasures and just let him know that that was a little too modern for what we're trying to find. Yeah, please find me those. Um, a little, a little bell. The bells go in the booth. It's cute. It's two dollars, but I don't know. Do I love it enough for two dollars? Maybe it'll still be there on Blue Tag Day, and I'll take it for a dollar. It was cute. I probably should have picked it up. I mean, next time. Or did I pick it up? I think it went in the cart of $2. But why not? We'll try it. Like I said, that goes in the booth. They That will find a happy home there. And then what's this? This beautiful lidded dish. I think for powder. And it was in such good condition. I couldn't believe that there were no chips or cracks in it and that the lid was still intact. I mean, the handle didn't even have a crack on it. It was amazing. And it was affordable. So it went in the cart. Why not? I think it was a dollar. For a dollar, it definitely has to try it for a dollar, right? Is that Lennox? No, it's not Lennox. The color seemed right. I've sold some Lennox dishes. That was really pretty. A sugar dish with a lid. But they wanted $6 for it. There was no creamer. There was nothing else to go with it. So not for full price day. That had to stay behind. And they had some nice clear glass, but... I don't know. There was a lot to choose from, but my goodwill, some of the prices are pretty high. So Mr.'s curious about ashtrays. I like to pick up ashtrays because Kevin, the Commonwealth picker, encouraged me to do so, whether he knew it or not. And I love ashtrays as well. Now I'm realizing that I'm going against the grain and shaking things up at the goodwill and going in the wrong direction. So let's back up so that the people that do follow the rules can go down the aisle like they're supposed to because yeah why not let's let's cause havoc on new year's day at, at goodwill right because why not and that was cute but i think there was condition issues to it nothing overly exciting there let's turn the corner and see what goodies we can find and here we go half off and they were cute and, and in really good shape except for one was missing it it's stopper but I picked them up anyway because in my booth salt and pepper shakers go well so two dollars for the set why not I think they were made in England so we picked them up and give them a try you can see mister on the back end trying to um, check out that stuff too And the red glass was nothing exceptional, so it stayed. And I can tell I'm a little short. I can't see what's on the top shelf. Now we're going to check out the coffee mugs. See what we can pick up. exciting my arm we're just learning what can you say we, we're trying things I think I picked up this plate about a thousand times it's pretty but made in China I don't know it just didn't look like there was a lot of resale value to that didn't really need a pumpkin mug And a lot of these dish sets, my Goodwill does get a lot of dish sets, but boy, do they really mark the stuff up. That's been there for a while. I'm curious to know who made it. Um, I almost think it was a reproduction. There was not no, no, no signatures on it, but you tell me if anyone knows. And then there's this set. 
And that's been there for a couple of weeks too. I believe it's $150 that they have on the price tag for that. And I'm wondering why. I don't believe I saw any signatures to it. Um, it's pretty and there's a lot of pieces in good condition, but whose are they? If you know, let me know. And this was cute too, but I certainly don't know that I needed another platter um, to, to list at this point. We have quite a few. So I left that behind. And I, I just, I have to figure out what this is to know why, why, why is it $150? Tell me. I need to know. Help me know. Help me help the goodwill to know, right? They just, so many just dish sets. And this is another redware pottery set that's been there, I believe. Um, for a while and it's got a pretty hefty price tag on it too even though it was half price I just I couldn't bring myself to do it it had to stay on the shelf it's lovely but I just I don't know it had to stay and this is another cute plate Noritake but again I just that was not something to feel like dealing with today and this collector souvenir plate I I don't know maybe it had some value to it but it just didn't talk to me tonight so it stayed it stayed and see what's there a little another little bell and I thought about it but there was nothing really extraordinary about this bell so the bell stayed A little sugar dish, covered dish. It's false craft, but I have a I have another piece that goes with it. I'm pretty sure it's the same pattern, so we'll give it a try. I've sold some false craft stuff. I've made good money off of it. I'm able to get it for the right price, so why not give it a try? And some more little bells. Like I said, I put them in my booth, and and they do find homes, but I think they just wanted a little too much. Another Teleflora vase. And what's this picture? I believe it said it was made in Montreal and hand painted in 1992. It was pretty. But no, I think I brought it home. I believe that stayed. I believe it went in the car. No, it stayed. It stayed. I guess I just figured it should stay. I think maybe there was a crack in it. I think there was some condition issues. And then what did I find? Oh, the Stengel creamer, this little pitcher. So that went in the car. I'm interested to see if that will, how that will do. And nothing exceptional with the little teapot. There was some um, some figurines that were broken. I don't know. New Year's must have, New Year's Eve must have been pretty wild for the figurines at the Goodwill because they were broken and pieces falling off of them and in bad shape. So many of the figurines stayed behind. They did not come home with me. A little rehoming of the figurines tonight. I'm just seeing those blue plates. They were really cute. I don't think I picked them up. And these caught my eye. And I spent a lot of time looking at them back and forth. Uh, there were three bowls in this pile, a couple um, little lunch plates, and then another dinner plate. Um, Taylor Johnson Taylor and they were in such good shape and the colors were so pretty I just I had to put them in the cart and they were half off so they were 50 cents each how can you say no to that and I did end up finding a fourth bowl somewhere around the corner 
you know, the salt and pepper shakers were cute, but not anything exceptional enough. Mr. found some left in pieces. that were adorable. So here he's bringing them to me. We got uh, all four pieces to make the oval. I believe they go around the centerpiece. Somebody tell me in the comments below um, how they go together, but they were beautiful. Everything was still intact. I think all the flowers, uh, everything looked cute. I can't wait to get them out and do some more research on that. That's exciting. And the price was right. Hi, Santa. Hi, Santa Mug. You're cute, but you stayed. Another piece of pottery. Wasn't anything exceptional. 